Well, I've been masking the car off. That's the most time consuming part of painting a car is you got jam paper and everywhere so you don't end up with overspray everywhere. So I got that jammed around in the inner fender and the chassis and whatnot. Well, <coughs> well a day's worth of masking just to spend a couple hours painting. But if you don't want overspray on everything, you gotta kinda do it. Obviously I'll take the truck and everything that's in here pretty much all is on wheels, so I'll just put everything outside. And uh, what I can't put outside, I just put sheets over. So yeah, it's ready to ready to spray. All right. Well, I got the final coat of uh, paint on the car. Still tacky. Everything's masked off, covered up. What I couldn't move outside, I covered up. That's a spray gun I used. I gotta clean it. That's always fun. Paint, reducer, and hardener. This is Nissan. That's made in, it's uh, from Pennsylvania. That paint's based out of Pennsylvania. And uh, it's the first time I've used that brand of paint. It actually came out pretty good. Um, I've used to use PPG or Sherwin Williams Acme brand. I kind of like the Sherwin Williams, but that was just too expensive. It came out pretty good. Let it tack up, dry up, and then I'll start. Uh, unmasking it and get a little more video of it. Well, there's the original paint and there's the new paint. Pretty darn good match. Now the light's hitting it differently so it might look a little different. But I want to talk about my spray guns here for a moment. Alright, what I did was um, when I painted the side of this car, the big gun was too hard to spray the underside of the rocker here. So I got my non-HVLP door jam gun out to spray the bottom and the reason why I use the 9 HVLP gun is this is the H the high volume low pressure door jam gun and the cup goes on the top and when you're painting like this the paint dumps out you know when you're trying to paint so I use my non HVLP gun to door jam gun this is a Badger I think Badger model 400 I think um, yeah, and uh, I had more overspray in the garage from painting the underside of the rocker panel on the wheel well lips with this door jam gun than I did painting the whole side of the car with my regular HVLP gun, just the standard gun. I had way more overspray from the non HVLP. So if you're painting in a something like this you know in your garage or whatever highly recommend getting one of these you get a lot less uh, overspray in your garage more paint goes on the surface and less in the air and uh, I covered everything up I even I made sure the air compressor was pumped up and then I switched it off and had sheets over that in the toolbox and then between uh, coats of paint I'd let 20-30 minutes between coats I'd pump the air compressor back up. Uh, it only pumped up once actually. I put three coats on the car. I put a tack and then I put a second coat and then a final coat and when I put the final coat on I kinda you know you're spray a lot of people you see they they shoot like this and you don't do that. You keep your gun square to the car go back and forth and then I like to go quickly you know, just real quickly all around because it's metallic and metallic, you want it to look a little more even. So I usually hit it around just to get the metallic flow out uh, fairly even. Um, it looks really good. Looks like we have a good match. The bodywork all looks good. I don't see any 
waves or imperfections in the body work. So we'll let that dry to the touch and maybe later this evening start demasking things. Okay, well I untaped the car. Really nice match, looks really good. I'll take that bag off the rear wheel tomorrow. I don't want to take a chance on touching the lip of the wheel well. But I take the tape off before the paint is hard. That way it, it, you don't peel any paint with the tape. Just comes a little better take, detaping it if you do it when the <clears throat> if you do it before the next day. I like to detape the same day. It's been drying oh, about three or four hours now. And I got the heat set at 72 in the garage and it's 66 or 67 outside, I think. Take that back, it's 72 outside, 72 inside. That's why the furnace isn't running. Yeah, and this is February. Michigan, that's 72. But the car looks really good. Came out nice. And I'm going to paint the whole driver's side below the trim just like I did this side. And I think I'll, I'll uh, take the trim and the emblem off the front fender and just paint the whole front fender. I'll take this, this molding off, take the emblem off, take this off, take the headlight bezel off and uh, the rear view mirror off and just paint the, the whole fender. Probably the next thing I'll paint is the door jam on this side. That needs to be painted yet, so I'll probably do that next. And then uh, I'll start painting this side of the car and then the trunk floor pan and then the paintwork's done and we'll probably start looking at getting tires in the next couple of days.